Hello everyone. I still don't quite have my new more operational. Uh, still have a few things to do to it. But recently a friend on the RG Pilot forums, the discussion groups, posted a question about Bendy Ruler and was, I guess, uh, trying to use it and had some trouble. I looked back, I have a lot of video that I shot that I never turned into anything on YouTube. Um, and I have some shots of my more using Bendy Ruler object avoidance uh, to work around avoidance fences that are exclusion fences that I created around some trees and other objects I have. Um, not using active objects of detection, just simply on Mission Planner showing RG Rover what to avoid. So I'm going to let those videos play in a second there, and I have some commentary, just my normal rambling while they're operating that'll kind of explain what's going on a little bit. But first I thought I'd show you how that is set up in Mission Planner, at least for my property. So this is, this is my property and you'll see these are fences that I've created uh, around objects. Most of them are just circles, uh, radius type fences, uh, of a, fences of a certain radius that is telling RG Rover to stay out of that area. But I do have a few places down here, for instance, uh, let's see, this one. This is a, uh, an electric pole and a guy wire. You can't see it in the satellite image, but I basically have this diagram, I mean this uh, polygon as an avoidance area. And uh, so you do this, I won't go into detail, but anyway, it, uh, it, take a, it would be a video of its own to show how you set all that up. But uh, it is set up and it's stored in the flight controller. That's one thing interesting about the uh, avoidance and the fences. Uh, there, this stays in the flight controller and if you have fences enabled and object avoidance enabled, they will keep you from, you know, a, an automatic mission from driving into these areas. Uh, so I can plan a mission if I load a file. This will take a second to load. I have a mission that is just planned as if there were no trees there. If you notice, I'm probably moving around too much for you, but I have lines, basically a spiral rectangular mission going round and you know up and back, doing this grassy area that also includes these trees. Uh, so with, if things are working right, the bendy ruler object avoidance will not allow my mower to go into this fence that's around this tree and instead make it go around it and that is in fact what you're going to see in the video coming up um, one thing though the way bendy ruler works it's really not good for our kind of mowing application is that uh, suppose the mower is going coming in this direction on this line when it hits the fence it will navigate around but instead of navigating all the way around to this point and then continuing on the line, once it gets to where it can see the waypoint down further, it quits operating in the object avoidance mode and goes back to normal operation. So your uh, mower will track, will track back to the line and depends on your tuning and all as to whether it tracks kind of quickly or ends up coming way down here before it gets back on the line. So you end up with a triangle kind of downstream of your path um, that doesn't get mowed. The way to fix that, uh, kind of a, you know, unfortunate way to do it, but it works, is to put waypoints just past the fence. So it, you have to kind of manipulate your, your waypoint file to make it work like you'd like it to. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, and I'll have a few more comments at the end, but here are the videos uh, showing my mower actually mowing this area with Bendy Ruler. This is Bendy Ruler in action. These trees have an exclusion fence around them. And the mission itself is just straight up and back through the trees. But uh, with the 
fence, bendy rulers steering around the fence, around the trees. Bendy ruler works. I mean, there's a circle around that small uh, tree you see right there with the flag, blue flag, if you can see that. Um, and uh, so as it approached it from this direction, it went around either that way or this way. And then it, once it got where it could see the waypoint again, it then went back into normal mode. So it tracked back to the line. The, the waypoint's really way down there past where the moor is so it's not it's not making a beeline for the waypoint it's 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 just going back into auto in the normal automatic mode and then based on your tuning you know how aggressive it is and all that uh it will determine how quickly it gets back to the line so it in my case it uh, you kind of got a teardrop uh pattern on up there quite a bit so quite a bit to clean up um if i don't change the waypoints and you know make some changes so that it does that does it on its own if I leave don't change bendy ruler that is or anything or you know I haven't played with some of the parameters of bendy ruler but I don't think any of them affect what happens once it gets past the fence because then I think it just turns off and you're more your uh, vehicles back into normal auto mode here we come again approaching this small tree on that side. Last time I had my finger on the button to switch it to manual if it goofed up. I don't this time. Putting all my trust in Bendy Ruler. This is the first run since I changed my uh, fence locations to be what I think is perfectly centered around the, or very close to centered on the tree. But, uh, boy, it's jumping way out there before it comes back. Probably some parameters I can change, I don't know. All of those video clips were with Bendy Ruler working with just a standard mission that uh, was created, you know, as if the trees weren't there, like as I showed you right before I started those those uh, video clips. Uh, to fix the issue with it leaving uh, a triangle after the the fence, uh, you can do what I did here. It's a little bit tedious, but once you've done it, you've done it. But you notice this this mission's a little different. It's actually a up and back mission, not a, a spiral mission. See this track's coming down, and the one next to it's going back, so it's working its way back and forth. 
So on the missions coming this way, you'll notice I inserted a waypoint just past the fence. So Bendy Ruler will get here, see the fence, navigate around, and then it quits operating and the RG Rover goes back into normal navigation mode, but it's navigating to that waypoint. So it works very well and goes straight. And then every mission coming, every line coming this way, it's going to have a waypoint downstream on this side. You have to be very careful not to put a waypoint inside the fence. Then Bendy Ruler kind of goes crazy. It, it's going to try to get, the moors trying to get in there. Bendy Ruler won't let it. It just can do really weird things. It can take off way out in the field and come back. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so that's a no-no uh, to, uh, you know, you don't have, you don't want a waypoint inside an exclusion fence. So this does work. Unfortunately, I don't have any video showing my more working after I created uh, this uh, modified mission. Uh, and of course, the more burned, as you know, a few months later. Those videos were from August and September of 2022. And uh, one more thing, though, you you know, this is not active object detection. This is simply a tree that's there, and I want to avoid it. Uh, another way is just to plan your mission around the tree in the first place. You know, it's not that hard to just manually create some waypoints to work your way around. Uh, and I know that there's a, there's some work going on to give us a way to plan a mission ahead that has objects uh, built, you know, predefined, and it'll plan the mission around it. So, but this does work. It's a little jerky, as you notice. A lot of things you can t tune about Bendy Ruler. I like the way that one worked, though, as far as, uh, you know, it, it, it hugged the, the fence pretty closely. And I'll post my parameters uh, so that you can see how they're set in case you're working with this and want to maybe help you a little bit to see my parameters. So yours certainly will vary. But uh, so that is uh, at least a demo of Bendy Ruler.